you know, mm. the uproar was her TikTok account yeah. where it was very evident that she had two flags mm -hmm. um, of what she chooses to identify yes. as, right? Um, and there wasn't a South African flag. She grew up in a household whereby they practiced maybe the Nigerian roots or maybe the Mozambican roots. So she never really knew the South African side of it. Do you know what I mean? But now she's on a stage where she's representing South Africa. Correct. And so how are you going to represent us on a world stage? Um, so her mom's mom was Zulu and her mom's dad was Mozambican. Her mom is Mozambican with Zulu roots. Yes. I don't know how far this goes back. I don't know how deep this will be. And also because I would like to safeguard her feelings at the end of the day. Checkpoint visited Adichina's home in Summer Greens, Cape Town, in search of answers to the lingering questions South Africans had. We found her father, Michael Adichina. Knock, knock. I cannot grant any interview now. Just, just one question, sir. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll see you later, please. He never came back, leaving us with no option but to ask our questions through the fence. Did you know about the identity theft? If yes. children, my parents, you know, the father and the mother, any one of them has so been found out to part, have committed any crime, then yes, they need to face the full wrath of the South African law. Where there's like this huge question mark, like, what's really going on here? Did this happen? Did it not happen? What do you have to say to that? So I think. Um, I really avoided the questions, like I said, because it is a legal matter and yeah. I do not have all the facts around the matter. But mm -hmm. what I can say is that I was not running away from any of that. I was just running because I knew I had a dream that I wanted to fulfill. I know I did not steal anyone's identity. I'm still waiting, obviously, for the whole conclusion. To commit any crime. Of, she did <laughs> my addition or did not commit any crime case, personally. Matter. And then moving forward, I'll know exactly what to say because I feel like now if I say something and then something comes out tomorrow, it could be like, okay, but, but you said this and then something else. Do you understand? Like, I'm just avoiding all those, you know, two things contradicting one another, so. Well, you grew up in South Africa. Yes. But you were in South Africa till you were, you were in Nigeria till you were three? Yes, no, I was born in South Africa. Then mm -hmm. I came to Nigeria when I was three and I stayed here for a couple of months mm -hmm. and then I went back to South Africa. So, so what, was, what, what do you miss? Don't you miss South Africa sometimes? Like, do you feel like you miss your friends? You want them to like come over? Talk I do miss my friends. I do miss my lifestyle and everything. I think it really is a struggle at first for me because I'm trying to adapt. You know, they say it takes 21 days for you to I actually. Think it takes a long mm -hmm. So I am evil, but then I don't know how to speak evil. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to learn. I want mm -hmm. to learn. And I'm not saying this now because a lot of people might feel like, oh, no, she's only saying it now because of... And I'm like, <laughs> no, like, I've always wanted to, you know, especially in SA, like in Cape Town, where I stay, stay in specific, you know, mm -hmm. it's Nigerian populated. So yeah. there's like Nigerians everywhere. So I really felt like I was still in touch with mm -hmm. my Nigerian heritage, but now I'm actually more in touch with it. I feel